god. I'm not doing very well here, am I? Uh... Hi everyone, welcome to the YouTube channel. I am Mousy377. You've joined me on Seven Days to Die. This is a an epic survival game. I love this game. Get quite obsessed into playing it. I thought I'd do maybe a let's play uh, collection. So I've started this save. I've literally just loaded up. I've called it WrestleMania because I'm a huge wrestling fan uh, with a capital W, uh, capital M, but all one word. Um, so we're just going to see really how we do and it looks like it's gave me a, almost a perfect start we started in the desert here um so that is yucca fruit galore which means i've got food for days so that is going to be awesome uh what i'm going to do is just going to scavenge around now get the basic resources plant fibers wood stones and just see how we go about start off in day one really uh, we need to explore a bit of the map day one's all about just getting your basics so just seeing really what you need to do to survive so I won't bore you with all this I'll uh, scavenge a bit and then I'll upload some more in a minute once I've got all the resources going but obviously yucca fruit is key if you end up in this place just get loads of it you know, it's easy to pick up, you can carry hundreds of it at a time. Um, it's just an unlimited food source, really. So if you end up here, pick it up, collect it, get loads. Um, and yeah, right, I'm gonna go get resources, I'll back in a bit. So I've got a bit of resources up now, so we've um, gone around, got quite a bit of yucca fruit. Here, let's have a look. 34 yucca fruit, 190 lamp fibers, 14 wood, 10 stones. Um, I just picked up a little bit of, of random stuff while I was getting the stones as well. One thing in the desert is make sure you mind these cactuses. Because the amount of times I've run into them, you can see my health is down to 94. You think I'll be an expert of, of dodging these by now, but I'm not. Um, just to show you who I'm playing as well. Obviously, it's a zombie survival game. Big Walking Dead fan. So I've, I'm Glenn. Look at that. Downloaded the map pack. Glenn from Walking Dead. Woo! Go me. Don't know if it helped me, but there we go. So got resources so I'll get myself a axe now axes are key to this game especially at the start so you can see there it needs five small stone two plant fibers two wood um, got all that let's craft myself an axe and suddenly getting resources is a a lot better so now I've got an axe there that show you without an axe hundred one punch at a time taken down by one uh, four punches to get one bit of wood Axe. Uh, boom. Nice and easy. Got myself some wood. So wood, stones, plant fibers are key at the beginning. Uh, always even straight away to get yourself a stone axe. Bird's nest. I'm a big fan of the bow and arrow. So every bird test to find. Always loot it. Get myself feathers ready for bows. The eggs are key as well. Um, once you've got a campfire to cook. Give yourself that bit of extra food as well. So it's about stones, you can find them walking around, um, when you just walk around the land. But big stones like this, here you go, let's see, there's a small stone. Find one of them, pick it up. Big ones. Use your axe, obviously it destroys your axe as well, lower level, destroys quicker, but the amount of stones you get from doing this will allow you to make another one. So there's the wooden plant fibers that you get as well. So I've just got to destroy this stone and I saw some cars over the hill, uh, so I'm hoping there's a road up there. So we'll go over there and explore. There's a supply drop about to, to happen at 12 o'clock. Um, depends how far out that is. We may go get it or we may just go to see if we can find a road and get ourselves out of here. Um, the cactuses, if you come across a desert bloom and there's no biome and there's no uh, yucca fruit, you can destroy the cactuses. They'll give you plant fibers, and at the end of destroying one, they up free yucca fruit as well on the big ones. I think smaller ones maybe give one, maybe two. Um, so that's a look at the map. So, oh, actually, this area here, if you look on the map, little tip I found out: these little brown spots give you clay. Um, 
once again turns out to be extremely essential as you go through the game um, you get a forge later on you need to clay to create stuff along with iron um, so when I first started this game I, I didn't really know what I was doing I was getting all resources didn't think I needed clay didn't really worry about that um, there's lots of stuff a lot of stuff in this game actually does have a use so although you may think it's useless it might be worth just picking some stuff up and store it in a base when you can find one so it's midday supply drop has not came interesting oh my axe is about to break as well there you go axe broke but so scrap that always scrap it really because um, when you build a new one it's a higher level that's what I found is a useful thing there we go that would do Right, so I'll just finish getting this lump of clay out and then we'll head out to the car and see what's up there. Go to the game, look. There we go. Right, okay. So I saw some cars. Sure, it was this way. There it is, look. Um, another tip when you get later in the game um, and you find a wrench. Don't do what I first did and kept just scrapping it for all the iron. Keep it. Uh, and when you come to cars, use the wrench on the cars. Um, gives you quite a bit of iron as well. Um, but also gives you gas. So when you get a mini bike, gas is essential. You can also use your bike. Okay, I don't really see a road there, but I do see another car down there. Um, okay, let's go down to the car. Oh, mind the cactus. Let's go down to the car, pick up the yucca fruit on the way. So I can't stress how important yucca fruit is. It's awesome! Uh, oh, there we go. This is an online multiplayer uh, save as well, so people can join at any time. Uh, fortunately, on the console, you can only have up to four people. Um, but it is possible for people to join the game if they so wish. There we are, another car here. Oh, we search this one now. Ooh. Feathers and glue. Um, ammo. Okay, I think we're gonna pick a direction and just run to, to find anything. I'm saying that, that looks like it might be. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go east. Um, Oh, I try and find a road or base of some sort. Oh. As I said, pick up everything you can on the way. Let's see when we come across our first zombie. It probably won't be too long if I just keep running in the desert. Wanna cut pop up somewhere. These random cars in the desert as well. I don't know what they try doing when they try to escape the apocalypse. But driving through the desert was, was clearly an option for them. Um, oh, there's a zombie. Should we go attack it? Should we go kill our first zombie? Or we'll try and kill our first zombie? So I'll probably get killed now. Oh, I don't like them ones either. Ah. So, oh, there he is. He's already after us, but... Aim for the head. Oh, he's aiming for the head. Not good. See? Look at that. Ow. Not a good start. Okay, there we go. Whew. There we go. Got lucky there, look. So I'll get. Ah, he's got nothing on him. Okay. So let's continue to head east. Did I see a bird's nest down there? No, I didn't. Alright, okay. I'm hoping east will lead me somewhere. Um, so these the saving is the save I'm doing um, it's daylight hours 6 in the morning until 10 at night so there's a time you can run around the day and there's no zombies after you uh, 10 o'clock at night is when the zombie well they are after you obviously but 10 o'clock at night is when they start to actually run and you find it pretty impossible to outrun them here we go Ah, food and if you saw that, let's have a look. I'm not detected. Sham sandwich. 
don't discard them. They are awesome. Collect them. They restore your health by... What do they do it by? 20%. It affects your stamina. Your stamina goes right down. You have a few poison for a minute. But if you get loads of them and you're in a base at night time, then losing your stamina for the night time when you're just waiting for morning to come is not a bad thing. Um, and 20% of your health is regenerated by eating one. So it's quite key. I think I just saw a house on my left there. So let's have a little look. Yeah, there's a, well, I don't know if it's a house or not. What is it? It's like a little barn, I guess. Um, uh, let's have a look. There's a couple of zombies down here. Oh, God, he just spawned out of nowhere. Um, okay. Let's have a look. I'm not doing very well here, am I? Uh, he's running zombies. Oh god, one behind me as well. Oh, running one's back up. Oh god. Oh, three zombies after me. Okay, this is, this is, I feel like I'm going to die, like, in the first, like, day. It's not good. I should leave these alone already. See, headshots, headshots every time. It doesn't kill them, it stuns them. God, plenty of things I've to use a bandage in a minute. Okay, okay, not good, not good. This time I'll have to be. There we go. There's never a zombie over there. That's okay. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll take the wood. Search the zombie remains. No, no, you might get lucky. One may have a gun. And then you're like laughing. Sham sandwich. Take that. I'm undetected. That other zombie hasn't seen me. Okay, I'll take advantage of that. I'm right, we'll use a bandage now. I'm gonna get my health up. Where do you go? Okay, I'll take advantage. So, let's get ourselves into our first little building. Let's see if there's anything good in here to help us to start. Day one, it's always good to try and get some epic things. Oh, there's water down there as well. Ah, cool. That's ideal, okay, it's a nice little area. Let's get a torch out. What we got in here? Barrel, pick one of them up. You can scrap that for gas later. Or turn into gas, sorry, not scrap it. Cooler. Nothing. Not not looking good. Nothing in the rubbish. Bit of glue. Okay, not great. A hut to stay in, I guess. Um, I guess whatever is ideal. Staying out, if I follow this road back out, then this could lead us back up outside um, to a road. So, where's that road? Pick up the yucca fruit on the way. Um, you do have to be a patient person in this game. You know, it's it's the idea of the game is to survive, you know, there is there is action in it, you can fight the zombies all night if you want to. Um, I know some people do. Um, and as you just saw, ooh, ooh, mining helmet. Great find. Okay, so, mining helmet means you can wear that. Sorry, I don't know that. Oh. My little Alexa thought I was talking to her then. Um, means I've now got a torch without actually Having I said her name again, didn't I? Um, means I don't have to carry a torch. I didn't say Angela Light. What the hell, Alexa? 
Right, okay, so we're going to follow this path. Um, I'm hoping this leads to a road or another building. Oh, watch that crazy. I'm going to ignore the zombies for now. I didn't have much luck there a second ago, did I? Um, oh, these bricks here. Great. They give you stones. Oh, it's got a bit of sand. Right, let's have a look. It's quite a long path, this, so... I think it might lead you back to either. It might even lead to a town. If it leads to a town, then we're well in on day one. But. Or it may just be. I oh, know, it's still going. There we go, this way. Whee! A dead end. What have we got here? Is that a campsite? Okay, campsite. Oh, always for the zombies. Right. Oh god, don't like these ones. See, and they're pretty, pretty mauled by them. So what I'm just gonna do a second. Oh, zombies all over the place. Do I have time to make a bow? Bow, bow, bow. Do arrows? How many can I make? Much better bow and arrow. If you have time to steady yourself. Right. And if they walk in a straight line, there you go, to the head. Does it always kill them? But that certainly helps. Right, not good because I'm attracting more zombies as well now. down hit a move there we go run the floor in for the head there we go okay cool duct tape fat ones normally have food on them but there you go food and water and food and water again I'll cover the field of one up here There we go. Paracetamol, take that. Oh, use paracetamol. Um, right, cool. Tree stumps. Hey, essential. For some reason, people store good things in tree stumps in this game. You know, just try and survive zombie apocalypse, try to protect your family. Where to hide some stuff in a tree stump. Let's do that, shall we? Sounds like a good idea. Oh, what can I say with a zombie? Where's a zombie? Can't see him, it's normally a crawl arrow, I think. Where is he? Where's she? Search the car, and I think. Just stand on here. Let's have a look. Sense. Ooh, a... Ah, there he is. Same principle, crouch down, aim for the head. There you go. Meh, don't really need that. Not a minute. Right, okay. So, put a minor helmet on. Woo! Here we go, see? Minor helmet's on, pressing left on D pad, and we are away. Cooler. Nothing. Fat pack. Uh, empty glass jars, good for collecting murky water, then cook on a campfire. It's getting late though, so I'm going to have to think about either going back to that house that we just seen, or quick follow the path and see where it goes to. Um, I 
Where it buys. Come on. Uh, no, we don't need that. Um, search that one. Search that one. Right, where are we going? Okay, let's follow it for a bit, shall we? Time's at 7 o'clock, 3 hours. So there's enough time to get back to that house if we need to, if I just explore up here a little bit. Still collecting yucca fruit as I go. Can't stress how important it is. It only gives you a little bit of percentage because there's so much of it around. It's just, just collect all of it. You don't really have to worry about food then. Probably a bit more direct now, so we'll follow the path, see where it goes. And um Zombies are normally a good sign. That a path leading to a house or something somewhere. Let's go this way. It's path path split then, so we've gone to the right, which has led us to a road. Okay. Okay. Two choices of the road there. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back this way to where that path split, where the zombie was, and um, follow the path the other way, because I've got a feeling it may lead to a building. In fact, one needs a road. Oh God! Ah! I went to hit with the axe, and the axe is broke. Not good. Okay. Uh, oh, there's another little hut, isn't it? Right, I need to get a new axe quickly. Scrap the axe. Load the axe. Oh, ah, zombie. Ah, perfect. Bedroll. Pick one of them up. Free stamp. Please not tell I just heard a dog then. Okay, zombies have come down now. Uh, might be cheekier, look. Oh, it was a cheeky idea until zombies in there. Okay, so that was a bit cheeky. There's another a zombie. Nope. Okay, let's get back out of there. Okay, all the zombies are down there. That's where the path led to, wasn't it? Yep, yeah, okay. It's getting to night time. We need to be somewhere safe. Um so somewhere safe, somewhere safe, somewhere safe. Right, as it's night time, let's head back down to this building. Um and we'll secure ourselves for the night. So, okay, that walk was a bit longer than I thought it was, but we're back at the building now, undetected, and it's quarter past nine at night, so what we'll do, this isn't a safe, really that safe place, but I'm hoping we got enough here for, what are we missing? For a secure wood door. I need more wood. Ah. Um, okay, this isn't, this isn't great. I didn't think about this. Uh, is there wood around? I need wood. Oh god, nope. Nope. Well, it is wood, but it's not enough wood. Is that enough wood? Ten wood. Okay. So. The idea is at least we stick a door on here. Oh, you dumbass. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna have to accept that. Um, and the idea is hopefully you just stay undetected through the night. Um, this is how we're first starting out, really. Um, oh, that could be okay. I just noticed that, look. The way that wood frame is up there, if you get yourself up there, that'd be a good little safe place to hide. Oh, remember that for next time, I don't have enough wood right now. Um, but it's 10 o'clock, so 
what you normally do this time of night is just go through what you've, you've picked up. Um, so plenty of food. A bed row. Um, so in fact, what I will do, I'll put a bed row down now. Just in case I do end up dying. Um, basically a bed row is your save point. Um, when you die, you, you're good for it. Your bed row is... Um, you can put more than one down. Every time you put a new one down, it over saves from your last bed row. Um, but it keeps you safe there. Um, so I've got plenty of stuff here. I've picked up plenty of food. So I'm not going to starve, which is ideal. Um, I've got five water down here as well. So I'm not going to die first. Uh, so I've got the basic resources. I've got food, I've got water. Um, Glenn's already pretty got, got clothes on him already, which is ideal. Got some clay, stone, do some more wood. So what we'll do in the morning is we'll head back probably up to this road. Follow the road into the grass area because there's plenty of wood there to get. Um, so I'll come off now until we're back in the morning.